wine glass with just the power of my voice. Smashed it. Do I have the kind of voice that can hold a note? Well, I think that's obvious already, but I can prove it using this spectrogram. Because if you can hold the right note, you keep adding sound waves of exactly the right frequency. Yeah. <laughs> Experiments. Oh. The mold effect. That's good. Well, we've got some good momentum now. So you've got this travelling up and it wants to change so that it's travelling down, but it can't do that in an instant because right. that would require infinite force. So instead of moving down, it presses on what's below it and what's below it presses back up because every action has an equal and opposite reaction. When it comes to building a toroidal vortex cannon, it's really go big or go home. In the middle of the 1800s, Helmholtz discovered the toroidal vortex because he was integrating equations that described a moving fluid. Yes! 230 volts and a pickle. Hey, that was a bit red. Is that not a bit red? Look at that! Two Mobius loops stuck together, both cut in half, give you a linked pair of hearts. That was, that was 4G! That was my baby hippo moment! Let's see what is called a fire tornado. These parabolas cannot be similar. Sorry that I've misled you. But hey, let's, let's give it a go anyway and see what happens. 